Island News Midday Update is sponsored by Soldier to Soldier Hawaii Realty. Happy Friday, Hawaii. I'm Lindsay Fukano with your Island News Midday Update. New at midday, an update on the shutdown for Island Air. New video from this morning we took at the airport. Island Air filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection earlier this month after the companies they leased their aircraft from demanded their planes be returned. With no new investor to provide funding, a decision was made to shut down. We spoke to employees this morning who were taken aback by the shutdown. Yesterday was my day off, and I found out um, through email. Um, then an hour later, it came on the news. Hawaiian Airlines announced they will honor purchased Island Air tickets booked between this Saturday and next Friday. Those flights are between Honolulu, Kahului, Kona, and Lihue. Also new at midday, a new candidate is in the running in the race for lieutenant governor. Maile Luuwai, both, both an attorney and community advocate, she's announcing her run today for the lieutenant governor position. Luuvai made the announcement at Sacred Hearts Academy's administrative building and we'll have more on her announcement tonight on Island News. Well, today is Veterans Day observed and we do have a reminder of some closures in place. City and county offices will be closed today, including all satellite city halls and driver's license offices. The bus will operate on a holiday schedule as well. Meanwhile, the Blaisdell Center box office will be closed and the people's open markets will not be held. On-street parking will be free except for some meters on Kalakaua Avenue. And starting today until Sunday from 10 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon, no parking will be allowed on all Lanakai streets or shoulders and no left turn signs will be placed at the Triangle intersection at South Kalaheo Avenue and Kailua Road. And as always, we'll have more on Island News tonight at 5, 6 and 10. Have a great day.